Good evening guys and welcome to this video. Today I was uh, out shopping because uh, an appointment that I had fell through, got cancelled last second and uh, I thought what to do with my time because I had to wait for my girlfriend to arrive so I could pick her up and I decided well let's just clean the car and do run some errands and then I decided well let's go and do some shopping and uh, go out, go to the town center and see what's there and after going for a store that sells like DVDs and stuff, I bought a DVD there um, I decided well let's go buy your hobby store, give it a quick look and see what you what, what's there, what's new talk to the owner, just the normal shenanigans I'd say amidst the turmoil or like a busy week I'd, I'd say and um, well as you can see I came home with something which I will do a review, a quick review on here. Um, it's the Panzer 4D by Dragon with the 7.5 centimeter KVK 40L43. That's the upgunned Panzer 4D because it's the early version of the Panzer, one of the earlier versions of the Panzer 4. And um, I paid 34 euros for that kit, which I think is a good price because that kit I've seen it go for 50. So at 34, I think this is a good deal. Um, the box art, I like the box art with the the Russian plane. I think it's a L something seven or something like that. I don't know. I'm not a plane expert, and the Russian landscape gives away that this is probably one of the tanks that was used in a Russian campaign. And the kit number is six three three zero. As you can see right here. We've got some cat drawings on the side of the box. On the other side we have even more cat drawings and uh, one option for markings. The kit is from 2008, so it's a rather new kit, six years old. So that shouldn't be that old. And here we've got some, some more cat drawings on the back of the box. Um, finished model. The cupola, which I think is interesting because it's an early cupola. The air intakes or photo etch, of course, um, and injection molded. You've got a slight molded gun, three different muzzle brakes, the standard Panzer IV. The, the matlet viewports can be assembled open and closed with some photo etch detail. Um, the turret, of course, slight molded again. Um, photo etch parts for the spare wheel holder. Um, magic tracks, which I think is cool. And for the turret, there are the side skirts, which are only for the turret, though. Um, yeah, and it has, wow, air intake. Cool, that's cool. So you can actually um, portray the engine hatches open and have something inside, so that's cool. So let's open the box, as you can see. Still, still condom wrapped in plastic foil. Let's open it and take a quick peek inside. Um, I also got myself some figures, but I will not. Or I can quickly show you the show you guys those figures. They will not go without, but um, they were awesome. I really like the poses of them. They will go into the orama. I will talk about in another video. So let's open that box. It's a it's sturdy. Feels as if there's a lot in there, which there is actually. That's cool. So let's quickly and uh, swiftly go through it. We have the magic tracks, of course. Um, they're standard, I'd say, for dragon magic tracks. Without a magic tracks, I don't like the the S tracks. Um, the dragon card is actually wrapped in plastic, but I will not. Yeah. Let's unpack this. Um. Okay. Um. We have the spare track links for the the front glasses plate. We have. Um, okay. Those are the small locks for the um, turret basket, the spatial cupola. Towing cable and uh, gun mantlet. 
machine gun, two, f actually three frets of photo etch. That's a nice touch, although two are rather small. Um, clear parts, actually four sprues of clear parts, and a rather small dacle sheet. I gotta tell you guys, this is this is um, very sp Spartan. Not a lot of stuff on there, but uh, building the Panzer Fort at J. That provided me with a ton of dacles, but I don't think that would be accurate to have that tank uh, feature a ton of dacles, so probably not going to use it. Let's get that back in the, the condom wrap, as I like to call it, the plastic. Oh, for God's sake, that should fit. Ah, screw it. Uh, let me try and reorganize the desk so I can do this without major surgery necessary here. See guys, this is what, what happens when you don't plan ahead. But do everything impromptu. And I was not, not actually not planning on buying stuff, nor doing a kit review, because if you don't buy stuff, you cannot review it. And I don't know if this kit has been reviewed on YouTube or not, because I didn't check, but um, I thought I'd do a review nonetheless, because that's what I do on my channel most often. Um, okay, let's go through the spruce here. Um, this sprue features the fenders. The fenders. It also features some um, small detail parts. The front plate of the turret, the engine bay doors, some um, the slight molded gun barrel. Nice one piece. Um, take a look to me. Take a look, trumpeter. One piece gun barrels, and the brackets for the turret. Uh, Side skirts for the turret shoots in. Alright, that's a nice fruit. Let's continue. Actually, guys, I gotta tell you, that box is full of stuff. Actually, it looks like as if the turret comes with a, a turret basket. So like the the um the dragon super kits for the Panzer Force. Although this one is not a super kit, it still has a ton of the features that a super kit would have. Um, we have the top of the lower hull, um, air intakes, sides of the lower hull, another pair of engine bay doors, back plate, the air intake cooling covers, uh, in, in, in styrene, some small parts, I think those are the spare roll wheels, but I'm not entirely sure. But you can see this is one of the the sprues for one of the uh, the super kits because they come with the, without the the rubber tire on the rope wheels. And we've got another sprue that looks to me like a brumbar sprue. Exactly, it is a brumbar sprue. Um, this has the the side skirt holders that we will not be using for the the tank and the toolbox that goes on the side of the the brumbar. That's why I knew that was a brumbar and those. Um, Antenna mounts that the Brumbar features in the back. I guess we will we will use that for the the mud flaps, probably, or parts for the exhaust. I don't know. It might just be the. I have no clue. We will we will see that when construction starts. All right. Turret baskets. This is always a nice touch to have a turret basket if you want to portray the, the hatches open, which is a nice touch, I think. Um, let me see the, the, the floor of the turret basket right here. Um, gun parts, even more parts for the turret basket. Interior details for the gun. This is nice, this has texture, uh, like cloth tax texture. The machine gun, that is a nicely detailed machine gun. Actually, if you if you look, the it's got a hollowed out um, muzzle brake. What's that? Okay, that's the actually there's a, a the short gun is in here too, but that's a two piece gun. Okay, but I'm not going to be using that one. I don't think so because it's the upgun version with the long gun, and of course the turret basket. 
detailing. So that's quite a nice kit, guys. I gotta tell you, there's a lot of plastic in there, which I did not expect from this kit because it's actually not declared as one of the super kits. So I think I actually made a good purchase, and I can still go back because there are like seven or eight still at my local hobby shop that all go for 35 euros. Well, so the next screw. We got the famous um, spare, uh, no, magic track um, eight that helps you to pose the magic tracks. We got the bottom of the turret, turret basket. This is the one with the molded on locks. We've got frontal plate, front plate for the turret, the second one, some other bits and bobs for the gun construction. So. Once again, this is a spur out of the Super Kids. Oh yeah, how about that? That, that, was, that was nice. Okay, we've got three turret bottoms, guys. So, three lower parts of the turret. We could fill three turrets and we got three, like, actual turrets. Wow. That's a ton of spares for the spare box here. This is a ton of extra parts. Uh, me likey. Me likey. Alright, um... We got the dividing plate for inside the hull. We've got, as I said, another little part. We've got another front plate for turret, interior gun detailing, the loader seat. Um, yeah, nothing special. One of the muzzle brakes, some uh, drivers and loaders hatches. But other than that, nothing major. I guess that we will use that uh, dividing plate for inside the lower hull. This one has the um, engine fan and even more engine fans here. That's nice. And another turret bottom, of course. Turret ring. Um, a glasses plate and more driver and loader uh, and uh, radio operator hatches and some parts for the smoke mine launchers and for the this for the differential. That looks nice. If that has a diff differential, that would be awesome. That's cool. I haven't seen that before in the Dragon Kit. Here we have tools and accessories. Woo! Gotta tell you guys, I'm forcing my girlfriend not to watch TV while I'm talking to you, so she's a brave girl. Um, here we have the spare roll wheel holder that is also included in Photo Edge. Actually, I've never seen that off sprue, which it was not, because it was probably right there and then broke off. Yeah, exactly. It was there and broke off. Never mind. And we got tools. Those are coming with clamps, so I guess we have no photo edge clamps, but they are crisp and very, very thin. They look perfectly fine to me, so I won't have to fight the fight against tool clamps, which I always just skip anyway. More tools, uh, fire extinguisher, and the jack. This is actually going to be a longer review than I intended to. Ow. We have the turret, which I am not going to take out of this plastic because I want to protect it. Um, it's a basic turret. Nice riveting detail, nice bolt detail, nice weld seams on the top of it. That looks really stunning to me. Interior, there, there are no sink. Now there are some sink marks, but you won't see them because they're underneath the top of the turret. So everything is fine there. That looks really nice. The next sprue. How oh, more sprues in there than I thought there would be? Wow. How about that? That is quite a lot of plastic, guys. I gotta tell you. <laughs> and I, the, the problem is though that I've seen a ton of the parts that I'm seeing now already on other sprues that are already unwrapped. So, as I said, tons of spares for the spares box. Um, that will probably be used for the exhaust. And that might be it. And for the tow hook here, where they would um, put the towing cable to to pull the, the, the beast out of mud and stuff. I guess that this will just be used for that and the exhaust. Because this looks... Yeah, like parts we've already seen. But once again, everything is very well uh, molded. No problems whatsoever. 
Clasis blade, backplate, um, turret hatches, all kinds of small fiddly, biddly detail for the machine gun here. Um, the antenna. And actually, he, there was something in here that they took out for whatever reason they did. And up top, they took it out as well. And another exhaust and another machine gun that is not warped. I thought it was, but it's not. So, yeah. As I said, everything is nicely molded. No flash, no burring, nothing like that. We have the lower hull. I'm not going to take it out of plastic. You've all seen the dragon lower hull for the Panther IV. And we have the skirt for the turret in there as well. Um... I recently saw that YouTube actually had blocked a comment by Panzermeister36, so if you see this video, yes, I normally put the turret side skirts on my vehicles before I paint them, because I don't like to put stuff on the vehicle after painting it. But YouTube had, for whatever reason, blocked your comment on that video back. So I just wanted to get back at you while doing this. Um, we have parts for the, the Commander's Cupola, the Vision Blocks, and the hatches, they all look stunning to me. Nothing to complain about here. That looks really nice. We've got some more side skirts for the turret. They have some nice detail that I did not... Yeah, they have the, those are the same that I used on the Panzer IV J that I just completed. And we're getting through here. Only 10 more screws. Wow. This is actually a ton of plastic. I did not expect that to happen. And actually, I'm looking for the, the roll wheels to use on that one. Oh, there they are. Okay. So it's a ton of spare roll wheels without rubber. So if you want to build, like, a burned out vehicle, that would be perfect. Because you could uh, then, like, build the roll wheels just without with the rubber burned off. Return rollers, nothing. Nothing special about return rollers, I guess. Um, more return rollers. Identical screws. And those screws are identical too. Um, suspension arms. Oh yeah, I love it. Those are the fiddly biddly, um, tiny weeny part suspension arms. That's gonna be a pain in the nards, but that allows me to build it uh, in difficult terrain, I guess. Uh, guys, I guess I... I scored. I scored really good on that one. That looks to be an awesome looking bargain for 34 euro. We have suspension housing. Yeah, suspension housing. And this, once again, like with the super kits, comes with all the interior detail on the suspension housing. On the sprocket housing, so you could actually build the sprockets the, the housing open if you would have like people working on it. This is a nice touch. And we've got some up armored um, plates. Although the one is a bit warped, which I don't fancy. But I guess I can correct that. At least I hope so. And now it's the last pack of screws! Woo! And then we only have to talk about the instruction sheet. And let me tell you one thing, guys. The, the, the screw map on the instruction sheet, blue is the predominant color. For those of you who know dragons, dragon kits, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> rope wheels, rope wheels, and suspension, and idlers, and sprockets, and all kinds of stuff. Yay! As I said, Sprockets and suspensions and return rollers in different variations. Ah, that's the early sprocket on the Panzer IV. That's nice. And yeah, suspension housing, all kinds of stuff. Identical screws. Not gonna show you both. And the others. That's the basic eight sprue on Panzer IVs that comes with the rope wheels, the idler wheel. And even more suspension arms, and we get the fully completed suspension arms, so I don't have to use the ones that are movable, if I don't want to. So that's good. That's cool. That leaves me with options. Options galore! Alright. Um, so that's the plastic part. Now let's talk about this. This is a 
big instruction sheet. And I just, I told you, predominantly blue. Look at this. This is like blue. And there's a sprue that we use. Um, four, seven, nine. About ten parts out of thirty off. And that's... You can see this. There's like quite a lot that we don't use on this kit. I'll try to do this overhead. But I always like the dragon sprue maps. It is numbered. You have the the the, the letters that indicate where you find stuff. If I always if I if I ever like am lost for where to find parts, that's where to go. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 As you can see, this is a Dragon Super Kid instruction. They are highly, 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 highly complicated because they have so many parts within each step. We start with the suspension arms, and those are the highly delicate suspension arms. Yowza! And, um, photo edge, photo edge everywhere. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be fun. Sorry for waffling, but this is going to be fun. Um... Yeah. So, Cone, Mike, if you see this, I guess that that will be a kit that you'd like. Because it's almost a super kit. Although it doesn't come with, uh, like, the metal shells and stuff like that, but everything else. You got it in here. Highly detailed, highly hyper-engineered, I'd say. Um, yeah. Suspension, backplate, putting the lower hull together with the suspension, uh, the, the, the sprocket, God damn it. Um, front plate with the spare... Track links, fenders, upper superstructure with the add-on armor here. Holy shit, there is some interior detailing for the driver's periscope. That's quite awesome. Although I don't know if you could see this, so I think that this kit would lend itself to some interior super detailing with an engine and an in, in, in full interior. Because the detail that you get from the kit is awesome if you just like put an engine in there and a driver's seat and driver compartment and radio operator compartment. I think, and, and some sto sto storage for the ammunition. I think you would have a stunning kit where you could take the top off and just quadrate it inside out. Um, back plate. Putting the top together with the engine. Yeah. With the engine. That's cool. So it allows you to, or like not the engine, but the cooling fan, which allows you to portray the cooling fan. Um, look at this. This is very, very detailed and very, very, very many parts per step. So I'd say this is not for the beginner. Um, cupola. As I said, the turret basket with the photo etch. Super kit style, turret basket, gun, turret, putting the turret together, putting the tracks together, put it all together, put it on top, and we've got three marking options, we've got Eastern Front 1944, unidentified unit, NSKK, Germany 1943, whatever NSKK is. And Italian Front 1944 without any markings on it. And just a dark yellow, two dark yellows, and one tritonal camel scheme. So I'm going to probably go for the tritonal. Although that NSKK actually speaks to me. So I'm going to give this a look as well. Alright, um, let's sum this up here quickly. I think, considering the price I paid, this is a stunning, stunning kit. And considering the fact that it turned out to be a super kit is just as stunning. You don't have the, the metal parts that you have in the normal super kits, but all the plastic is there, so you can still go out and super detail the crap out of that kit. On a scale from 1 to 10, I'd say this is a 9 and a half. The extra goodies would be cool, but 9 and a half because like 34 euro retail price, thank you very much. I take every day for that kind of kit. So this is that for that for for now. Um, thank you guys for watching. This is hot modeling, and always remember, may the force be with you. Bye, guys.